Yin Yang twins, y'all been working for years, you finally arrive. You're no longer even thought of as one hit wonders. Right. Your next project, that project, it releases on Koch. Your next project, you join your brother, Little John, over at TVT. Right. How did that come to play? How did that come into play? We, Brother, brotherhood. After, after, after we did the one year one album deal, what happened was we were 450,000 in the clear on III, and Alan Grunblack realized he did a dumbass move giving us a one year one album deal. So he tried to renegotiate us back. And Smur would basically like, give us our motherfucking money first, and then we could renegotiate. We was already in the clear. I told Jay Z called the house. He didn't want to do that. So we just took everything and walked. Because he ain't and, anybody who don't know. And, and the thing him. about it that I can't say too, you got to look at Steve Godley was going where the money was. Right. So and, that, that's how that came upon too. When he we went got where to the money Steve, was. When we Boom. got to Next Steve, question. Steve said he got that, a lot of questions. I know, Steve said that he didn't understand our music, but he was willing to give us a shot. So that's how mm. we really got to where we at today. He get, we ain't even got halfway. Yeah, for anybody who don't know, Alan Grum Black runs Koch Records. At, at that time, it was Koch Records. Now it's, it's known E1. as E One. Right. Yeah. But he's also notorious for not paying royalties. I just want to put that All out there. All of them do that. <laughs> hey, I but, thought we was at TVT at this point. How we go back to college? Nah, because I'm setting up the TVT question. There you go. Because uh, we, he uh, actually we, we had the, the TVT question. Rock, rock. He actually had the opportunity, if he would have did right, to have y'all for y'all next album, which was y'all biggest album. What? <laughs> TVT reaped the benefits of all of the work that had been done before y'all got over there. And when you get over there, you explode. Uh, Salt shaker. I, look, I don't look at it that way. I look at it as go ahead. we reap the benefit of our hard work. Right. Cause we've been, no, 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 no. We work hard for, to get to that point. Right. TVT just showed us the love that everybody else wasn't showing up. So no, it ain't like he reaped the we benefit. Were, we we were, reaped the benefit. We were making all our own motherfucking money without them folks. <laughs> so no, 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 negative. It's like yeah, he we, showed us love. We were getting money. When nobody else would. And we still getting money. We probably Beautiful. one of the last rap groups still getting paid residually with royalty checks. With real album sales. And to take money to make money. So he spun his money to make money back. Right. So he really helped us elevate to where we wanted to get. Right. Because if you look at it, when USA came out, we was already platinum before the album even came out. Yeah. The me and my okay, brother so let's album, talk, let's talk my about it for a second. The album went gold and rolled gold for a while, and then it finally went platinum. And then when we... So let's... Go ahead. No, I want to talk about it for one second because y'all and y'all brother, Little John, y'all got together again and made a freaking smash. That salt shaker was something different. Oh, yeah. Like, that was a monster. I want y'all to talk to me about, because to this day, that is y'all's, personally as a group, that is y'all's biggest record, correct? The Whisper Song was the biggest record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whisper. Yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. Oh damn, I forgot. That was after okay, me we and got my, the whisper. Yeah, let, let, let's get yeah. right. Yeah, you you ain't do all your homework right. <laughs> nah, because because Salt Shaker. No, I don't think you did all your homework. Salt Shaker went to number nine on the Billboard charts. Spent fifty four weeks on the charts over a year. Yeah, that but, but technically, overall. Salt Shaker. It was it no overall. Technically, technically, Kane, Salt Shaker is your biggest record. That's factual. Go look it up. Hey, but, but, but with that being record, said, for the record, yeah. what you saying, I, I hear what you saying, but mm -hmm. really, Wait is our biggest record because it yeah. got us nominated for a Grammy. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? We got nominated for a Grammy for Wait, not, not Salt Shaker. Or Get Low. Come again and say what? Come again and say what? <laughs> what you got to say? Come again and I say what? I want to talk about Salt Shaker for a second. Yeah, you can get we on, all made that get record. on Salt Shaker, but it didn't get us nominated for a Grammy. Right. So okay. it couldn't have been. But again, no. I mean, we see people nominated Wait. for Grammys and you, 
Yeah, let me let us keep it moving. <laughs> but did y'all know when y'all was making yes, that I record? I been sitting on that motherfucker for three days. Exactly. Y'all already know. I don't even want to go down that road. Yeah, yeah, but did yeah. y'all know yeah, that right. that record was going to be what it became when y'all made Salt Shaker? Say again? When y'all made Salt Shaker, did you know? Because sometimes you Our just- energy. Is, see, what you don't realize is this. People, a lot of people don't, and this just me talking for what I bring to the yin yang twin. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't know, but all you gotta do is speak your life as you want it. So one thing we don't do is do the negative thinking about whatever we're gonna do. We say, oh boy, when we do this shit, it gonna go like this, and we gonna do like this, and it gonna hit like this. When yeah. we do all that back and so, forth. Go again with what you said, no, we didn't go in there looking at it like that. We went in there looking to record another song with Lil Jon. Yeah. Like, because and we, we were doing our, the album. Yeah. And using all our real energy. Like, I don't want, I ain't gonna call no young artist's name, but we've been, I've been, we've been in the studio before and some of the young artists done seen us work and when me and D-Rock come out the booth, we sweating like we've been in a thunderstorm. The new kids don't know what it is to have work ethic where you come out of booth sweating like you've been hauling uh, concrete or sheet metal or sheet rock. And when you try to outdo yourself, that's when you mess up. Because mm -hmm. you, your mind's so focused on outdoing what you did the last time, you ain't even thinking about no new time. Just think about that time doing that time. Yeah. New time is a new time. We don't change. Last, uh, no, hold on. Last year was last year, but you think this year was like last year? No. Last year, we couldn't go out because of COVID. We don't, this year, we can. That's just the same way music is. It's like, you don't don't think about the last one you made. Yeah. You got to think about what's going on now. Yeah. Boom. Andre, Next question, Andre please. said you focus on the past, your ass will be a ass butt. Right. <laughs> we're not ass okay. butts. We're still, <laughs> we're still relevant today off of songs, and we haven't put a hey, album that's, out. That's just how it go down. In 13 years. 